Hello everyone and welcome to my Word of the Week. I will be taking my message from the JSM Word for Every Day. I will be reading from Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The darkness that was here prevalent was taken away only by the Spirit of God as he moved upon the face of the waters. As someone has well said, the moving of the Holy Spirit is the first sign of life. There is a darkness in the heart and life of every unbeliever. Regrettably, there is also a darkness in the hearts and lives of many believers because of wrong direction, erroneous doctrine, or failing to take advantage of God's prescribed order of victory. That darkness cannot be removed by humanistic psychology, by therapy, by a change of environment, or scenery, or in fact by anything that man has to offer. Let me say that again, that darkness cannot be removed by humanistic psychology, by therapy, by a change of environment, or scenery, or in fact by anything that man has to offer, but it can be removed. Actually, the darkness that invades the soul of man, bringing about guilt and condemnation, can only be removed by the same manner in which God addressed the problem at the beginning of time. The Spirit of God moved, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Genesis 1 and 3. That light resides in Christ. For he said, I am the light of the world. John 8 and 12. When you as a believer put your faith exclusively in Christ and what he has done for you at the cross, the Holy Spirit will then move upon you, even as he did upon the face of the waters so long, long ago. And the darkness will go. It will be replaced by light. While it is the Holy Spirit who will carry out the work, it is all through what Christ did for you at the cross, which requires your faith in that finished work. At the very beginning, God gave the order. It is, number one, darkness covers the unredeemed soul of man. Number two, the Spirit of God moves upon the darkness of the unredeemed soul. And number three, and God said, let there be light which redeems the soul. And that concludes my message of the week. And remember that God loves you. If you're battling with something, it's time to let that thing go and to surrender it to God. The only, and I mean the only fight that the believer is to engage in is the good fight of faith. The believer can't save themselves and the believer can't clean themselves up. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. So whatever that thing is that you are battling with, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Lay that thing down at the foot of the cross because it was there and only there that all principalities and powers 
And that sin which so easily beset you was paid for. Christ nailed it to his cross 2,000 years ago. When Jesus said it was finished, he meant what he said. It is finished. So I say to you, stop fighting a fight that has already been won. Everything that the believer needs in their walk with God has been paid for in full by Jesus Christ, our Lord. So let that thing go and place your faith. Anchor your faith in Christ and his finished work and yield to the power of the Holy Spirit and let God move. Let me say it again. Let God move and do the work in you that only he can do. And he can do anything because he is God. God bless.